Have you ever found yourself questioning the very fabric of societal norms? Have you ever felt a sense of skepticism towards commonly accepted beliefs? If so, then you are not alone. In fact, throughout history, there have been individuals who have dared to challenge the status quo, to question the unquestionable, and to seek a deeper understanding of the world. But what if I told you that there is a philosophical perspective that not only encourages such questioning, but also embraces it as a means of growth and self-discovery? What if skepticism could be the key to unlocking a profound understanding of ourselves and the world around us? Today, I invite you to join me on a journey into the philosophy of cynicism and its rich history. Imagine a world where skepticism is not seen as a threat, but rather as a catalyst for personal and intellectual development. Picture a society where the act of questioning is not met with resistance, but instead celebrated as a pathway to enlightenment. In this world, skepticism is not a sign of ignorance or arrogance but rather a humble acknowledgement of our limited knowledge and a relentless pursuit of truth. The philosophy of cynicism, which originated in ancient Greece, offers us a unique lens through which we can view the world. Cynics were known for their rejection of societal conventions, their disdain for material possessions, and their commitment to living a life of virtue and simplicity. They believed that by questioning and challenging the norms of their time, they could uncover a deeper truth about human nature and the nature of the world itself. One of the most famous cynics, Diogenes of Sinope, famously lived in a barrel and rejected the trappings of wealth and power. He believed that true happiness and fulfillment could only be found through a rejection of societal expectations and a return to a more natural and authentic way of living. Diogenes and his fellow cynics were not content with blindly accepting the beliefs and values of their society. They sought to examine them critically and determine their true worth. So why should we embrace skepticism and the philosophy of cynicism? Well, for one, it allows us to break free from the chains of conformity and think for ourselves. By questioning commonly accepted beliefs, we open ourselves up to new perspectives and possibilities. We become active participants in our own intellectual and personal growth, rather than passive recipients of societal norms. Furthermore, skepticism deepens our understanding of the world by forcing us to confront our own biases and preconceived notions. It challenges us to examine the evidence, to seek out alternative viewpoints, and to constantly re-evaluate our own beliefs. In doing so, we become more intellectually honest and open-minded, and our understanding of the world becomes richer and more nuanced. Imagine a world where skepticism is not seen as a threat, but rather as a gateway to growth and self-discovery. So, I invite you to embark on this journey with me, to question, to challenge, and to discover the truth that lies beyond the surface. Let us be skeptics, not in the sense of cynicism, but in the pursuit of knowledge and wisdom. Now let's delve deeper into the historical background of cynicism, a philosophy that has captivated minds for centuries. The term cynicism finds its roots in the Greek word kynikos, which translates to dog, like this etymology is quite intriguing, as it suggests a connection between cynicism and the characteristics often associated with dogs, such as loyalty, simplicity, and a disregard for societal norms. The founders of cynicism, Diogenes of Sinope and Antisthenes, were instrumental in shaping this philosophical tradition. Diogenes, in particular, is known for his radical rejection of material possessions and societal conventions. He famously lived in a barrel, demonstrating his commitment to simplicity and self-sufficiency. Diogenes believed that by shedding the trappings of material wealth, one could attain true freedom and live in harmony with nature. The cynics embraced a way of life that emphasized virtue, honesty, and the pursuit of wisdom. They believed that true happiness could be found not in the accumulation of wealth or the pursuit of power, but in the cultivation of one's character and the development of moral excellence. By living in accordance with nature and rejecting the artificial constructs of society, the cynics sought to attain a state of eudaimonia or flourishing. Cynicism, therefore, can be seen as a radical departure from the prevailing values of its time. In an era where material wealth and social status were highly prized, the cynics stood apart, challenging the established order 
and advocating for a simpler, more virtuous way of life. While cynicism may have its roots in ancient Greece, its influence can be seen throughout history. From the Stoics in ancient Rome to the Transcendentalists in the 19th century, the notions of simplicity, self-reliance, and the quest for wisdom have struck a chord with those desiring a greater comprehension of themselves and the world. We can say that the historical background of cynicism reveals a philosophy that challenges societal norms, embraces simplicity, and places a strong emphasis on virtue and the pursuit of wisdom. By understanding the origins and principles of cynicism, we can gain valuable insights into the human quest for meaning and fulfillment. As we delve further into the principles of cynicism, let us explore two more fundamental aspects, Diogenes and the pursuit of virtue and cynicism as a counterbalance to materialism. Diogenes of Sinope, a prominent figure in ancient cynicism, exemplified the rejection of societal expectations and the relentless pursuit of virtue. He believed that true happiness and fulfillment could only be achieved by living in accordance with one's own nature and values, rather than conforming to the expectations imposed by society. In a world consumed by superficiality and materialism, Diogenes sought to strip away the unnecessary and focus on the essence of human existence. He famously lived in a barrel, possessing only the bare minimum to sustain himself. By rejecting the trappings of wealth and status, he demonstrated that true virtue lies not in external possessions, but in the cultivation of one's character and the pursuit of wisdom. Cynicism encourages individuals to question their beliefs challenge societal norms, and develop critical thinking skills. By engaging in this process of self-discovery, cynics gain a deeper understanding of themselves and the world around them. Through relentless questioning, cynics seek to uncover the underlying truths that may be obscured by societal conventions and cultural biases. This process of critical inquiry allows individuals to transcend the limitations of their own perspectives and gain a broader, more nuanced understanding of reality. By embracing cynicism, we open ourselves up to the possibility of growth and transformation. It is through this journey of self-discovery that we can shed the layers of conditioning and uncover our true potential. In a world driven by consumerism and the relentless pursuit of material possessions, cynicism serves as a powerful counterbalance. It reminds us that true fulfillment cannot be found in the accumulation of external wealth but rather in the cultivation of inner virtues and personal growth. By prioritizing inner fulfillment over external possessions, cynics resist the allure of materialism and embrace a more meaningful way of life. They recognize that the pursuit of wealth and status often leads to emptiness and dissatisfaction, as these external markers of success are fleeting and ultimately unsatisfying. Instead, cynics focus on developing qualities such as wisdom, integrity, and compassion. They understand that true wealth lies in the richness of one's character and the depth of one's relationships. By shifting our focus from material possessions to inner virtues, we can experience a profound sense of fulfillment and purpose. Instead, cynics focus on developing qualities such as wisdom, integrity, and compassion. They understand that true wealth lies in the richness of one's character and the depth of one's relationships by shifting our focus from material possessions to inner virtues, we can experience a profound sense of fulfillment and purpose. Thank you for joining me today in this exploration of cynic philosophy. Up until next time, take care and see you soon.